Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So before we start, I would request you please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, there are lots of amazing hands-on videos on DevOps as well as on Cloud DevOps on my channel. So make sure to check them out. Coming to today's topic, so today we are going to prepare a resume specifically for DevOps and Cloud DevOps. And as you know, at this point of time, there are lots of different companies, specifically like startup based or product based companies who are using AI to filter out resume. Okay, the way that they are filtering out resumes is that they are looking for specific skill sets. If those skill sets are mentioned in the resume, then they are like uh, selecting those resume. If not, then they are not selecting. That means the first round of filtration of resume is going to happen through AIs, right? So in order to tackle this situation, what I would suggest to prepare resume that is basically ATS friendly. Okay, that means uh, your resume uh, is going to be selected uh, at least for the first round. Okay. Also, uh, the resume that I'm going to help you create is going to be really useful because the same resume I used to uh, like used in my uh, while I was giving interviews. And this was one of the resume which was very much uh, useful and very much liked by others. Okay. So in this video, whole thing I'll explain also side by side, I'm, I'm going to explain in what ways you are going to uh, mention the projects and what things you need to write with respect to that project. Okay. So yeah, uh, everything I'll explain and all the sections of the resume also I will explain so that you don't uh, miss out anything. But yeah, before we start, make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also make sure to join the telegram group because the documentation of all the things I will upload on my telegram channel. So yeah, make sure to join that. Now with that being said, one more one last thing team. So I'll be very soon starting or announcing my batch four for DevSecOps and Cloud DevOps, which is going to be specifically for people who want to transition to DevOps. That means if you are not in not from DevOps background and still want to go into DevOps, then that course is specifically for you because everything I'll going going to teach from scratch and everything is going to be completely interview oriented. And we are going to focus more on hands on so that we can learn by practicing things. Okay. So if you are interested, make sure to join uh, the announcement of the course uh, and all the details will be done on 11th of February. Okay. So yeah, with that being said, let's get started. Okay team. So before we start, I would request you sub, uh, register to this uh, masterclass. It's completely free uh, occurring on 15th of February. We learned detailed Kubernetes with hands on examples and yeah, everything will be there. So make sure to register. It's completely free. Now let's jump to our resume. Okay. Now resume I have like re-edited and everything and this is with respect to like it is ATS friendly and yeah it will be very useful for you if you are going for interviews. Okay. First section make sure that whatever uh, uh, certificates you are having make sure you mention here the badges of the certificates. Okay. You can resize them as per your requirement because you need to uh, adjust them there. If you are having so many certificates make sure to highlight the most important one here. Okay. For example, like if you are having Azure Fundamentals, Azure Demonstrator, DevOps Engineer, Architect, right? So you can inst uh, you can just mention uh, DevOps Engineer and Solutions Architect. That is going to be useful. Okay. But yeah, since I have space, so I have added all those. And yeah, coming to next, so the first point that you are going to put is the professional summary, right? But before that, uh, in very simple and clear ways, you can write your name, your email address. Email address should be clickable. Okay. And your phone number, right? Coming to first, first we have professional summary. So in professional summary, do not write so many lines. Okay, three, four lines maximum. And you try to like put your uh, whatever task you are doing uh, consolidated way. Okay, if you see mine, I have written I, uh, accomplished and re result oriented professional with four plus years of experience in IT industry as a DevOps engineer with hands on experience on supporting, automating, optimizing mission, critical deployments in production server and cloud. Now, if you carefully read these two lines, you will understand that clearly I have written like I have whatever my uh, uh, skill sets is there. I have combined it together and written it in two lines, right? Next line I'm writing building, deploying source code management, leveraging configuration management, CICD, DevOps and DevOps process. Now here you see CICD skills, uh, uh, IAC and everything I have just added in three lines, right? So this is the best possible way in which you can define or explain your like uh, whatever skill sets you are having. Okay, first line. Coming to next section, so next we have technical skills. Now in technical skills, it's much better if you see instead of writing just all in one line, it's better that you define what kind of tools you are having. Okay, so type of tool if you see here, CICD tool, let me zoom it, CICD tool, then in CICD I have the primary uh, experience that I have, Jenkins, Azure DevOps and AWS DevOps. Okay, coming to next, build tool. So in build tool, clearly I have written Maven Node.js.net. 
similarly container management tool okay yeah container management tool so in this we have aks openshift kubernetes and eks since i have worked on all of those i can write right if you have even little bit experience with the any of these now you can write all of them because all of them are exactly similar okay few differences will be there which you can easily learn but yeah it's good to write these tools right coming to next source code management kit and see similar to those i have written and at the end i have written cloud platform the main reason that i am writing this keyword cloud platform at the end because the uh, uh, interviewer who is going to like filter out your resume mostly they are going to make sure that look at first line and last line middle for sure they are going to look but since last line is kind of separated so it will be clearly visible and they can see that i have experience in azure cloud and aws cloud as you know at this point very much high demand of these two tools is there right Cl knowing the cloud platform knowledge so i have written it at the last coming to next so next i have work experience right so in short i have mentioned <coughs> whichever company i have still worked on two companies i have worked on uh, let yeah uh, you can write it something like this okay organization 2 was my july 19 to december 22 my designation was this and my role was this make sure to mention both of these two, two things okay designation and role because it will clarify for the uh, like uh, uh, the interviewer that okay it's not that uh, you in first company you were like as a, just a software developer okay so that I, the main reason that i have mentioned here is because the interviewer can understand that in both the companies i have worked as a devops engineer only so that they can be like they can uh, it's good to show that you are okay you have worked as devops engineer only right okay coming to next projects so you see one difference like uh, uh, technical skills i have not retained or i have not used any tabular format the reason because when your uh, resume is going to be scanned by uh, like some ai based tool then it's very hard for them to scan a table tabular format right and they are going to look for specific specifically skill sets okay and all my skill sets are mentioned in technical skills right that is why i have not used any tabular format here instead i am using tabular format in projects okay because as i say ai tool is going to scan this section they are going to search for specific keywords like if you have experience in jenkins then uh, azure aws these kind of things right and then yeah obviously uh, ansible terraform one more thing team you see here <coughs> in artifact management tool i have written three things nexus 3 azure artifacts and aws code artifacts trust me if you have experience with any one of those you can easily write others because they are almost similar few differences are there okay coming to next so yeah in project section so in project section see i, I have written everything in tabular format so that because this project section is going to be viewed by the interviewer right because from here they will be able to find out what exactly were your tasks in your previous company right previous company or previous project so the way that i have written first project one is it's going to be name of the project the organization where you were working then tools and technology use so whatever tools you would even if it's minimal make sure to write it okay because it may make a difference so you can see every tool that i was using with respect to this project i have written it very clearly then role devops engineer cloud devops engineer whichever you prefer you can write right after that responsibilities so you know in in my opinion first line you should definitely mention continuous integration and continuous deployment pipeline the reason because uh, ci cd is the backbone of devops when any interviewer they are going to uh, look for any candidate first thing they usually prefer is if the candidate knows how to write pipelines right ci cd pipelines that's why first line i have written this after that i am writing more important things like writing docker files for docker images then manage source code using uh, using git then deployments using argo cd see here i have written argo cd here i have written jenkins so and uh, interviewer can understand very easily okay both the uh, tools the guy knows okay then pod management in openshift cluster integrate code see now here the way that i am writing things is to explain usage of different tools that i was using in the project correct here you can see clearly sonar cube then os dependency check nexus 3 right grafana for monitoring okay after that till this section it's like i'm defining tools and pipelines okay <coughs> after that section i'm writing this also that i yeah, i did uh, like uh, documentation for all the steps that we used then support engagements uh, critical deliveries and issues 
the main reason that i am writing here to showcase my troubleshooting capabilities okay because there are lots of issues occur during the delivery time so to show that i was able to fix those issues and i was a very good troubleshooter with respect to devops i have written this line okay then uh, last two lines is going to be like uh, just uh, si very simple things like git have git lab web hooks then jira tool for ticketing if you want you can add a uh, few other things like you can one line that i would suggest definitely mention that you used to mentor your juniors because that will showcase your good behavior and good uh, like nature that you are a team worker you are supporting other uh, uh, candidates in your other employees or other teammates in your team also so that's a that showcase your good behavior okay coming to next projects see in my opinion if you are going to mention two projects at least if you are going as a experienced person obviously minimum two projects you need to show i would suggest show one project which is going to be on premises using jenkins and all second project showcase a cloud project why because using these two projects you can easily showcase that you have you have uh, done real time work in cloud project real time work in on premises project right that's why second project i have mentioned as a cloud project okay here you can see tools and technology used i have written azure devops terraform maven azure artifacts azure related things i have written if you are expert in aws you can write those right then we have responsibilities so similar kind of things which what i use i wrote here i am writing here also like whatever task we used to do like first line cicd then deployment here then uh, azure infrastructure management why i am writing this line because when you are working with cloud managing infrastructure is very important okay so for that reason i have written azure infrastructure management then after that whatever tools i used i have just written them okay coming to next section certification so <coughs> whatever certifications you have done make sure to mention it very easily and awards okay even if you uh, like like got a very small award make sure to mention it because getting award and mentioning them in your resume it shows that you are a good employee okay so these you know it these are not not going to affect the interview directly but one way or the other way directly or indirectly it's going to showcase you that you have been a very good employee so that's what because that's the only reason people get rewards right for me i used to get like these are real for me these are real rewards i used to get this customer delight because i supported lots of uh, like uh, uh, clients as well as did so many pocs right and after that i have hero of the cluster like it's like uh, we get we used to get on monthly basis so i received this also okay after that you can mention your education okay now you can see everything that i have written here it's not like randomly it nothing is written randomly guys okay everything i have thought properly then only i have written okay now obviously you are going to want this so i'll just put it the in my telegram group in the pinned message make sure to go there and you can download it in the word format and you can edit it in your as per your own requirement okay but yeah uh, yeah so that will be all team and again uh, saying you for those who are looking to transition to devops properly learn everything from scratch because obviously if you have worked in different domain even if you worked in it but not in devops you need to learn devops from scratch okay and that's what we are going to focus on in our upcoming batch okay we are going to start from scratch and learn real time things since the reason that i say real time because from the beginning itself as a fresher i have always worked in devops engineer as a devops engineer initially i worked in like on premises projects after that i started working in cloud projects at this point i handle more than 28 projects okay and those are cloud based projects so i can basically guide you properly real time how things happen and that's what you are going to need if you want to transition okay so yeah if you need to transition and if you want my help you can just enroll to the course which is going to be announced on 11th of february okay so yeah on all the on the links that are going to be needed will be in the description make sure to check them out and yeah team thanks for watching and have a nice day